come to a decision on uh, new applications, domestic combined heat and power of the ASME RC 2013 conference. My name is John Haring. Uh, I'll be your session chair for the, this session. Uh, may I please ask you to switch off your, your cell phones if you haven't done so? Uh, let's first start with the first speaker. That's uh, Mr. Kwon Wong Kyu from Kenmet Energy Ottawa in Canada. Uh, he holds a PhD from Chalmers University in Sweden and uh, his work focuses on integrating energy systems uh, for residential and commercial uh, applications. Uh, the title of his work is an RC based system, a micro CSP system for residential applications. Mr. Q, the floor is yours. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, what I'm going to talk about today is ORC based micro CHP system for residential applications. Uh, first, what is micro CHP here? It is a mass produced uh, appliances for residential homes. Its power production capacity is between usually 1 to 10 kilowatts. It can be used for direct replacement for home furnaces and the boilers. It has to connect with water and space uh, heating system of a residential home. <coughs> uh, there is a growing interest in micro CHP concept for several reasons, like uh, liberalization of electricity market in many places uh, for the moment. Uh, rising energy costs, environmental pressures, sensitivity to electricity and heat interruptions, and <coughs> the interest in standby generator, particularly renewables, and also some upgrade opportunity and, uh, uh, and so-called intelligent homes. Uh, in addition, the bank interest rates is extremely low. This would promote uh, the application of micro concept, uh, micro CHP uh, in your homes. Particularly, or most importantly, the technology is becoming available. Uh, the main market for the micro CHP would be uh, for replacement of uh, conventional gas furnace and the boilers in the domestic sector. Uh, technologies for micro CHP, uh, s uh, actually several technologies are possible. <coughs> for micro CHP, like fuel cell, internal combustion engine, Stirling engine, ranking cycle, uh, thermal electrics, and uh, thermal photovoltaics. Uh, we actually have looked at uh, all these technologies. Uh, the, requ the basic requirement for micro CHP would be uh, level of noises or vibration, size, weight, capital cost, surface cost, and uh, heat to reach power ratio. Uh, among these various technologies, uh, fuel cell. Uh, we would, I would say, has a long way to go to reach commercial readiness. Uh, <coughs> internal combustion engine could be a choice, but it's uh, it's noisy and uh, small <laughs> size 
uh, water cold internal combustion engine is not widely available. Uh, Stirling engine, uh, there are some applica applications for Stirling engine, but there are still some technical issues to be solved. Uh, so the one of the most, uh, most uh, famous manufacturer is waste project. Uh, but they stopped producing uh, third engine because of some issues. Uh, thermoelectrics and uh, thermophotovoltaics or TPV are solely the state devices that can convert uh, heat direct to directly uh, into electricity. Actually, we have some interests in thermal photovoltaic or TPV. TPV actually use the same principle as uh, solar cells, but instead of sunlight, TPV uh, convert infrared heat from a combustion source into electricity. So this uh, uh, thermoelectric or TPV uh, generator uh, can operate without uh, any moving parts. But their efficiency is uh, uh, quite low at the moment. So among these uh, uh, different uh, primer mover technology, we, we think uh, organic ranking cycle is uh, promising. Uh, the opportunities and the drivers for CHP, micro CHP using uh, ORC, like uh, enclosed, it provides various home energy needs on site. The values provided to consumer would be both increased heating system reliability and reduction in home electricity bill. So is if there is a power blackout, the heating appliances can still work. It generates, needless to say, it generates electricity whenever the system is running, particularly at peak times. And it is capable of accommodating <laughs> renewables such as solar. Uh, so our research objectives uh, for this project includes modeling, uh, thermodynamic analysis of the benefit. <laughs> we test, demonstrate, and validate ORC-based based, uh, CHP appliances. We test, develop efficient and cost-effective expanders. We also examine the uh, different working fluid, and in particular, we conduct integrated system optimization for residential single homes. Uh, so we, in order to conduct this project, we built uh, two uh, houses which are identical. One is uh, used as a reference. Another use is used as a research house. Uh, a micro CHP system would, uh, would consist of a primer mover or a CHP unit, a heat storage unit, a net metering uh, unit and uh, a control system. Uh, so this is uh, uh, an <coughs> experiment set up inside this uh, uh, test house. Because that's the simple uh, few fired ORC process for CHP, micro CHP. 
So it's, uh, uh, you are now familiar with this. This would include uh, uh, burner, uh, evaporator, uh, expander, and generator, and uh, condenser, and the pump. Uh, so that's the basic thermodynamics. Uh, I don't have to uh, talk uh, any more about this. And why ORC? And I don't think I need to uh, see anything more about this issue because the previous presentation this morning dealt with this issue nicely. So I just want to mention one thing. Uh, so that's the TS diagram for the water. It's uh, like uh, uh, talk about in the previous presentation. It's uh, uh, the, the steam is so-called uh, wet expansion, uh, and uh, so you need uh, uh, for steam turbine you need a multi-stage. You need a reheat. You need a, a great deal superheat, but for the organic fluid is uh, has a, it has a property of so-called dry expansion, so you don't have to worry about uh, wet uh, vapor at the end of the expansion process. So this makes it possible to fabricate a single stage, a simple expander. Uh, like uh, this uh, uh, single stage expanders. Actually, there are different uh, expanders that can be used for small scale uh, residential CSP applications. So basically, there are three major expanders uh, like, like uh, turbine expander a screw expander and a screw expander. Uh, actually, we have tested this uh, different expander. For screw expander, it's uh, robust. Uh, it's uh, it's uh, straightforward to manufacture. Uh, but the problem or challenge is the efficiency is relatively low. And also for the residential application is uh, it's too noisy because there are two screw uh, uh, ruling is make a lot of noisy. Uh, the screw expander is the most popular for the moment for small scale applications. So it's uh, basically it's pretty much the same as a screw compressor. So now these are two prop type systems being tested in our research house and in our lab. So this is a gas-fired uh, ORC CHP unit. This is a, a low temperature unit that can be driven by solar thermal. So we yeah, actually are working on a hybrid gas and uh, uh, solar system. So as a first step, we uh, integrate these two systems into one integrated system to make a hybrid system. And uh, so we also conduct some thermal uh, mathematical modeling and simulation. Uh, so these two figures shows the modeling results and our experiment results. Uh, so this figure shows the power output as a function of expander heat input for different uh, pressure ratios at a fixed temperature uh, 
uh, expand the inlet temperature. Uh, so this dot are the experiment results. So this figure shows the efficiency as function of the expand the inlet temperature for different uh, pressure ratio. And also we have got some experimental <coughs> data. And, uh, at this time we have to admit that uh, the ORC efficiency is still relatively low, so in order to increase the system efficiency, we are working on a dual cycle power system by integrating both thermoelectrics and the ORC. So the thermoelectric uh, generator is used the uh, topping cycle in this dual so cycle system, and uh, the ORC is used uh, as uh, uh, a bottom cycle. So in this case, we can increase the system thermal efficiency dramatically. So we have done some uh, uh, calculation for this dual cycle system, so that's the overall power output and that's overall system efficiency. Uh, so uh, that's all. Yeah, and can close my presentation with uh, uh, the summary. So that's basically, uh, <coughs> so that's uh, the, uh, the knowledge of our uh, funding is provided by so-called product program uh, in Canada. Thank you. Thank you. I think we have time for one very short question, if there's one. Yeah, that's a good question. Actually, we, for our experiments, we only use natural gas because in Canada, natural gas is extremely uh, cheap and widely available. The infrastructure for natural gas is very, very, very dark. And so for the moment, we are using natural gas. But the biomass, uh, it's renewable, it's, uh, yeah, certainly it's a good direction uh, we should look at in the future. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.